Hey everyone, so in this video, we're going to continue to look at how I paint the walls and we're going to look at how I paint the rock below. Right, so let's continue on painting this wall and I'm just using this small brush to paint some light brown paints. Um, some of these, these light brown, brown colors that is below that textured area that we just did in the previous video. And so we have this um, brown tones that I actually use my fingers and the small brush to actually make. So this part here is supposed to be popping out. Okay, it's supposed to be like, you know, this part is, is coming out from the main wall itself. And so I want to create this um, pop out effect. It's like a kind of like, um, it's not straight down, but it's actually um, coming out slightly. There's something like a pipe. So, so this part here is actually done by making the top part darker and then the bottom part lighter. So it shows the volume. So I use dry brush to paint the brown and light tones to create this popping out effect. I right, so using that dry brush, I'm just trying to create those light tones at the top. And then I'm just going to make sure that it's, um, you know, coming out okay, by making the bottom part lighter. So that will show volume when we actually um, try to um, combine these different parts together, right? So using that my fingers, I'm just trying to create all these, you know, different kinds of uh, brown tones and using the brush, I'm just trying to create all these, you know, brown uh, kinds of uh, colors. And I'm just going to make sure that we have this um, use of my fingers to again make all this smudging kind of effect. So the use of fingers is also very good when it comes to, you know, making this dry brush technique. All right, so you can see I just dipped my fingers into the into the the paint and then I'm just going to um, very quickly make sure that we have all these dry paint on top. All right, so very quickly just using my brush again to expand this light brown area using my uh, using some of the um, dry brush technique again using a color pencil to touch up on some areas that we just did in the um, top part of the wall so now we are moving on to this bottom part of the bottom right hand part of the painting right so just touching up on the, of the on the shadow area of the pipe and using the um, small brush I'm just going to make sure that we have all these light gray tones and these light blues that are actually making up um, the bottom right hand side of this pipe so just making sure these dark tones are painted around the hand don't paint into those hand that we ju I just use my my pencil to kind of like you know draw make sure that these dark tones are being done you know just around those hands that you see and so these dark tones are making up the shadow area of the pipe and so we will need to make sure that we have all these um, shadow area in place and then um, just to complete these different parts so making sure that the base layer is dry before we actually use the color pencil to go on top of the wall so i used a dry brush with green paint to depict the moss right so we have some of this moss growing because again you know the wall is near to the ground area and so when it rains the ground becomes wet and this will cause moss to actually form onto the base part of the pipe right here so i use sap green and the reason why i use sap green is because sap green is nearer to the brown and it is a kind of like brownish green but um it is good for doing things like trees you know organic plants like trees and um moss and you know all this kind of very natural stuff and i do not recommend using viridian and other types of green like fallow green because these are too strong and sap green is my favorite green because it depicts very naturally you know the things that i that i paint like you know plants trees and all these kinds of algae and moss and water and so on and so forth so sap green is what i use to paint the moss and i combine that with light brown i combine that with black i combine that with you know all these different kinds of colors and these are uh, some amazing kind of uh, 
ways that we can do moss by using this dry uh, dry brush again to create that kind of texture that kind of green kind of a uh, thing to show the moss so again using my fingers and my brush i'm just going to make sure that the bottom part on the right hand side is light brown in color and so we have this light brown and this you know grays and this you know uh, darker spots and these are very um good techniques when it comes to doing textures so now we are moving on to the bottom right okay just above the rock that i mentioned that we're gonna see how i actually painted so using some of the greens again using some of the light blues and dark browns um, just exaggerating the colors right here okay so these are some of the colors that i use to paint and to do the textures on the wall so i'm using the brush to kind of like do this part here which is the left hand side of the, of the rock so you can see I, i'm using a lot of you know dry brush kind of technique to do the rock so right now i'm using a small brush and different tones to depict the textures of the rock so the textures of the rock here is kind of different from um, the textures on the wall because we want to make it a little bit more brownish and also we want to make it a little bit more angular because we want to have all these brown tones that make up the rock right so we want to change the brown tones again not using the same color for the entire object but we want to use the small brush to kind of like help us to paint all these different parts so using that small brush i'm just doing some of the light blue tones and i'm combining that with light brown and so we want to make sure that we have all these browns and you know we have all these browns and blues and everything else and i'm just trying to combine all these different parts using that small brush so this small brush is really very useful when it comes to doing all these textures because we are doing bit by bit every single part of that object and we can control the kind of like changes on the surface of the object when we use this small brush especially when we use the dry brush techniques that will help you to control the movement of the strokes very well and so this is good for doing like dry kind of textures and you know rustic kind of things like rocks like walls and those bricks and those you know structures and buildings that you see and so this small brush is really one of my favorite um, tools that i use to paint so again using some of the dry brush techniques doing some of the um, darker browns and some of the you know um, lighter browns and just trying to connect to to connect this uh, dry brush that we just did with the lighter brown and so um, we are trying to make sure that we have all these connections being done um, so that we have this entire structure that is being connected by um, these transition colors that will connect these different areas together within the same object right so we have the use of this small brush again to um, do all these light brown tones and again these light brown tones are um, what is um, making up the majority of the rock surface right here because it is brown in color and we want to make it stand out right by you know making sure that the surface right here is being done with all these different kinds of browns and uh, the middle part right there is lighter and this the surrounding area is darker and we want to just make sure that we have all these you know different things that are going on so using the small brush i'm just um, doing that line over there and again using that brush i'm just going to combine all these you know different areas like the browns and the grays and the you know the the light areas and these are um the, the the things that actually join all these the dark areas to the light areas right so you can see the bottom part right there is darker than the top part so i'm just gonna slowly show you how i actually did this wrong again so the first part the first layer here is now dry i'm just using the brush to do another layer on top so by doing this 
uh, second layer, it, it actually enhances the color of the rock, right? So you can see that now the rock is slowly being, you know, um, standing out because of these um, additional colors that are being added. So now it's slightly different from the wall that you're actually seeing. So right now I'm just trying to make the rock look more like a rock by adding in all these different colors on the surface of the rock. Right, so using that small brush, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of uh, browns that are being added. And so I'm using that small brush, again doing the right hand side of the rock that is very near to the edge of the paper. So just need a little bit of patience right here where you know we can see that the rock is coming out because of all these different kinds of um, textures and dry brush techniques. So again using that um, black, I'm just painting the bottom part which is the shadow of the rock. So right here we have this brown, this dark brown and this black that actually did. Okay, just to show the volume of the rock. So with this dark area, we can see that this rock is actually sitting on top of something and we can see that now is actually coming alive this rock with that dark area below and using that small brush just trying to create the ground area which is below that rock so again it is not completely gray again we would need to make sure that we have all these different kinds of gray that will make up the ground area right so I'm about to show you how I actually do it. But before that, using that small brush, I'm just trying to recreate the top part of the rock. Just finishing up this part, which is uh, very near to the wall. So again, you can see now that the surface of the rock is pretty smooth, but it's pretty rough also at the sides because we have all these dark tones. So using those gray tones, I'm just trying to um, create the ground area below that rock. But I'm just going to add a little bit of detail to the side of the rock right there there as you can see I actually left that part white and you're about to see what I'm actually going to do with that part of the rock or that part of the ground that I just left white so using that small brush just trying to touch up on the surface of the rock just trying to make the surface look more interesting with the middle part being lighter than the rest so that it stands out okay so using that small brush I just added in this dark red tone that you know makes up some of the details that you see on the ground area I'm um, using that small brush so now I'm using the small brush to kind of like blend in the um, darker shadows with the rest of the ground and so just trying to make sure that the sh shape of the shadow is nice using my fingers to kind of like you know make sure that all these different details are being added on top of the gray um, area that we just did and just trying to make use of the color pencil to kind of like you know create even more details and even more um, things that you see on the rock right there and this will um, make the rock stand out even more by adding all these details using the color pencils that you're seeing right now um, you know adding this light browns and adding this you know um, whites and all these you know different kinds of color pencils that will enhance the rock using this black color pencil again doing some of the details um, to the side of the rock making sure that we have all these textures in place so that it doesn't look too smooth so we are now trying to do the final touch up for the rock area which you are seeing right now which is like really standing out because of all the textures and all the details that are being added to the rock by using that small brush by using those color pencils and so it is very important for us to actually you know make sure that we have all these details and all these different colors and tones and textures that are being added to the surface and that will make the rock come out to be very nice and very convincing and very realistic so doing some final touch up right here and we have come to the end of this video and it's really amazing to see all these things coming together hey everyone it's ky tom here thank you for watching my video if you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and comment down below. Do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos. Check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and I hope to see you in the next one.